Hello, this is Joan Chiribella, an English and Creole primary teacher at Escola Madre Sacramento in St. Just des Bern. Prior to explaining my project, the need for focus on form in an English immersion context, the case of writing for third graders, I would like to express my gratitude to the APAC board and John McDowell's Awards Committee for recognizing my paper, but also to Dr. Elena Ruquet from Universitat Internacional de Catalunya with Barcelona for her guidance during the experimental study. The aforementioned project is a longitudinal study which focuses on the necessities students who are enrolled in an English immersion program should meet to develop high levels of writing proficiency. I did so by applying, on the one hand, a communicative approach without either focus on form or corrective feedback with a control group, while on the other hand, the experimental one followed the same communicative approach except for the time devoted to focusing on forms. That is, that the teacher provides students with corrected feedback and sustained focus on the study linguistic forms. Thank you for your attention. everyone, our names are Maria Gracia and Yvette Palau. And we are two English teachers at Sagrat Core Primary School in Terrassa. We feel so fortunate to be here, presenting a project we have designed to teach English as a foreign language to our fifth graders, which we have called, how can we create the best team part ever? Here you can see the key ingredients to carry out our project. A ticket roll, a catalog with products including rides, shops and services, an interactive fortune wheel, a map template made with Canva, six theme cards to create teams, and the class rules with a behavior management passport. Once you have everything ready, you can lock it very slowly with the secret ingredients pinch of gamification and lots of motivation. Basically, the student's aim consists of providing their theme park with as many items as possible. But each product has a price and to buy them, students are required to pay with tickets. But how do they win the tickets? In short, there are five possible ways for students to earn tickets, which involve students' behavior, homework assignments, good fortune, contest attainment, and exam grades. Let's do a walkthrough of some of the tasks our students have been involved in to win their tickets. A road day pretending they were in a theme park. God, there is no queue, we can get A roleplay performing a horror story to celebrate Halloween. We're a family that's very, very wealthy in a large mansion filled with numbers of rooms. Thanks for coming, James. Just remember. An interview asking people about their favorite rides in a theme park. Do you like what they write? Yes, I do. Choose one of full restaurant, Mexican restaurant, Italian restaurant. Or... A video clip singing a Christmas carol. An advertising video to promote their theme park. More than. 18 rights. Shows for everyone. Exceptional restaurants. 
Last but not least, this project couldn't have been possible without our hard-working students. This is what they have to say. I love creating my own theme park. My favorite part are the tickets. Collecting tickets to buy rides is my favorite part. Also, I love playing games. This project is very different and we enjoy a lot. It's wonderful. I like this project because it is fun. The activities are exciting. We learn English playing games. I like this project because I can create the theme park of my dreams. I like this project because I love PortAventura. Every task is fun and different. Representing a role play with all the class helped me to learn new expressions in English. What I love is to play games in teams. For example, the Christmas World game was my favorite one. From this project I like to spin the fortune wheel to win tickets. What I love the most is to buy right with the tickets. And we speak a lot in English. Do you dare to do it? Hi, I'm Lourdes, I'm teacher at Jesus Maria Josep School in Barcelona and uh, we want to thank you for the award that APAC has given to us. We are going now to introduce our project, Traveling Through the United States with TV Series and we hope you like it and that you can use it. Thank you. First of all, we chose a series, my group chose Gossip Girls and my group chose uh, Vampire Diaries. First, we searched in information in the internet and then we created a Canva or a PowerPoint with different characteristics. Uh, among these characteristics, for example, we put the protagonist, antagonist, main locations and many other things. We created our project using Google Earth. There we included places of importance of the series and also some videos or other photos comparing the real place and the place in the series. Then we presented the project in front of the class. We had so much fun doing it because we can include uh, our favorite series and, well, learning English. <laughs> 